Boy, howdy there, fellow gamers. Have you got on board a Counter Strike? Would you like to spice up your game a little bit? Is this M9 beautiful? Well, worry not. I've got a custom model tutorial for you. Anyways, I've already finished recording this, so what I recommend when you're watching this, watch this entire video through first, then go back and follow the steps on how to do it. I've made it like the least complicated thing possible. Is if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for quality, quality content. Now, before we do absolutely anything, I want you guys to make sure you have all three of these installed: the model changer, the models, and the third one, not so much. It's a little bit more advanced, we'll get to it later. Anyway, step one, extract the raw files. Use WinRAR 7-zip, it doesn't matter what you use. And you have to wait out how long it takes. I don't know, because I haven't actually extracted. <laughs> I use, like, different models. Anyways, I'll see you back. Alright, we're back, we're done extracting all the files, and in here is every single custom model you'll ever need. There's literally everything. There's even knives, there's also arms, which is a little bit more complicated, so we will not be covering in this video. If you want a separate video, nah. I just don't want to confuse you, okay? Sake of it is just not confusing, but don't worry, there's like, there's models for everything. Everything I use in my videos, you can probably find here, like, 90% of the time. See, like, there's everything, okay? Like, trust me on this. <laughs> Anyways, next step is name your beautiful Steam account something, you know, flashy. No, I'm just joking. You have to go to where your, like, Counter-Strike local files is. Just follow along, okay? I mean, I do understand that a lot of people might know how to get here, but I'm making this tutorial for literally everyone, so you can just follow this file path, but different people have different file paths sometimes, and this, this is very important. This is where you put the custom models into, okay? So we have to go back, we have to grab the custom model. Which custom model do we want? That's actually a hard question. Um, the AKM, okay? The AKM is beautiful. It has a nice animation. So you go in, then you have a materials and model. Now what do you do with this? You copy it, cut it, it does not matter. I have to go back, paste it, it's going to tell you to overwrite a lot of things, overwrite everything, just don't be scared, just overwrite everything at this point. Might take a bit of time. Now we're good, it took a little bit of time. Now, are we done? Did we install a custom model? No, we've literally done absolutely nothing at this point. <laughs> we have to go back and actually run the unknown CSGO skin installer, aka model installer. We have to go ahead and scan it first, you have to make sure to scan, do not take anything until you scan. Now it says I have 26 skins installed because I have multiple models, of course. Now do not tick anything it doesn't tell you to tick, by the way. Because if you tick something, I'll show you right now. I'll show you what happens when you tick something. You're going to have a mega error. All right, remember the, no the Nova, not the Negev. I was about to say Negev, sorry. Anyways, you go ahead and install now. It might take a couple minutes, a minute or two. Anyways, I'll catch you back after I'm done installing. And we're back! We installed all our skins, it took like two minutes. <gasps> Remember, the Negev is bugged, okay? Remember, I need to show you what happens when you click something it doesn't tell you to click. Anyways, now you go ahead and load into the game, because the models are technically now installed. Uh, you see how I say technically, okay? There's a little bit more depending on what you do, but... We'll Just pick any one of these that you change the model of. As you can see, it's a full replacer, so it's very easy to check. You don't have to hop in game or anything. Just check your inventory. Where's the Nova? Because I promised I'd show you that. You ready? <gasps> the giant airbox of death! Sorry, I had to. I had to do that. Okay. We <laughs> now, is the AK we changed? So, let's go. Is the AK changed? There you go. It's a brand new AK. No, it's just, like, more high textured, I guess. It's kind of the same thing. <laughs> Oh, we can also, like, change, like, here, I'll show you, I'll show you on the player model. They'll pop up on enemies also. It's just pretty much a full conversion, I guess you could say. There you go. Beautiful. Anyways, let's hop in and actually show you it in-game, I guess, because that's interesting. Alright, so I just finished knifing literally everyone so we can finally have enough to buy the AK. And look at it, it worked! Oh my god, this is what happens when you watch the video and follow what Flick says. But what if you didn't watch it? What if you skip through? Enjoy the giant airbox of death! Uh, it's fine though. If you drop it, then it'll be completely gone, right? It doesn't matter. Just don't equip it. Well, the issue is if your teammate picks it up, it's an even bigger giant air box of death. Eesh. So this works until you get into an actual game. That's the issue. Oh, I can hear someone. See, P100 headset. Even works when I don't cheat. Oh, except uh, my, my aim is always perfect. Now, I'll show you how to get it to work with a cheat though. Alright, so I'm back. We load up a cheat. Let's just go ahead and play now, because it works, right? Why would it not? No! You have to use a specific thing. SV Pure Bypass. It doesn't have to be aimware. It can be any cheat that has an SV Pure Bypass. 
What does SV Pure do? It allows you to bypass the checks and not get kicked. So yeah, I'll actually, actually load my config because it's gonna look a little bit nicer. <laughs> gotta gotta advertise the celly a little bit. You know, what, casual is fine. Doesn't matter. You can use comp also. Okay, we can still salvage. So I have a bunch of custom models. Even though um actually the Nova was changed, right? Which look, giant airbox of death, and I'm not getting kicked yet. Now people are gonna be like, OMG Flix, you you lied. D you didn't install these models. Oh, I want to pick up on. We have to get someone with an AK. Well, he has an AK. We need his AK to show that I actually installed it, okay? And not did something bad. Don't worry. That guy's more... That guy's more isolated. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. <laughs> there you go. See? It works. The new animation, the new everything. I'm on a server. I'm not getting kicked right now. You would've got kicked, like, in the first 30 seconds. If you watched my stream, you would've seen it. You guys requested this a lot, it's a little bit confusing, but... Okay, the knife changer is only needed if you don't have a cheat. You can have a cheat to change the knife for you, it's not an issue. This, the second... This is a different, completely different installer, okay? You need it for the knife. It's more confusing if you do it for the other ones, you could. But just use this one for the knife, oh. Okay, we're gonna find our CSGO. They gotta be more specific in the future on what Counter-Strike folder they wanted. Uh... It's not responding now. To be honest with you, I don't really know where you get, like, all the models. Because I just get them sent to me. So, anyways, it's a little bit different. Like, at this stage, it's not exactly what we were doing before. Like, we don't copy and paste. We're looking for a specific file, the .vtf. And now we have to... Okay. Now, listen. We have to replace the exact same knife. There's a reason. I know. You go, why don't I just replace my default knife? No, you have to replace the M9 specifically. Each knife has a little bit of a different animation timing, which could mess things up. Anyways, how do you know if you did it properly? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You see, it's going to say M9 Bayonet Knife. It's going to say Knife M9 Bayonet. And when you go to the back, .vtf. If you do it, like, exactly how I'm showing you right now, you're fine. Okay, so we're back in game, and we have our completely not new knife. Why? Like I told you, you need a skin changer or to do the other extracting thing I showed you, okay? So, M9, M9, because we changed the M9. There you go, the M9 has the new custom... Skin changer overwrites it, right. Um, you don't have to turn off skin changer, but you just have to, like, turn it off for the knife. So, as you can tell... Ta-da! Brand new knife. We changed the model of the knife. This is not a knife you can find in game. So as you can tell, it's working perfectly fine. Otherwise, it would have kicked me yeah, by now. So you guys don't have to ask like, Oh, MG Flix, how you do custom models? I did an entire video, okay? <sighs> Honestly, it was so hard making this video. Do you have the tutorial? What was that, bro? I saw that. They're calling me out in casual. Um, I love being called out in casual. <laughs> Uh, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and forth. And forth. Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here. All your shots have scored. No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin. But we fight and we fall and we rise through it all till we find what we want and we lose.